Simon, when I, I get back in uh, last night, I started watching the West Ham game against Leverkusen. Yes. Um, and I was thinking... Bayer they, Leverkusen. Bayer Leverkusen. They're going to do all right here. They're going to hold on and they're going to escape with uh, a nil-nil. But they didn't. They're two no. down. We'll get to that. 33 shots on goal. I Golden. flick over, Simon, and I see uh, what... Liverpool nil, Atalanta three. Yep. I couldn't believe it. Now, we'll talk about this the other side of the break. What about Jimmy Carragher on Twitter, Simon? Awful result and performance from Liverpool. The only consolation about getting beat so heavily is Jürgen should play a full second string in the second leg and go all out for the Premier League. No, I don't think you can do that. I think that's a strange view from Jamie. I don't know whether it's playing to a gallery because it will garner and gain attention. Um, I think that Liverpool have made it incredibly difficult for themselves and it's unlikely that they will get the, uh, an opportunity to overturn Atalanta because you can't see Atalanta not scoring because they score, that's what they do. So that means Liverpool are going to have to score four or five goals to be able to win this tie, which is not beyond them. But to suggest that the DNA of Jurgen Klopp would allow that to be the case is probably underestimating right. the calibre of the thinking of the man. Right. And I think it's low-resolution thinking from Jamie, to be honest with you. OK, we're going to get the view of Didi Haman uh, this morning because uh, he too was like, it was what? 3-0 Atlanta? Yeah, we'll get his view shortly as we look at what was undoubtedly a result in Europe that left everybody open-mouthed. Liverpool beaten 3-0 at Anfield by Atalanta to suffer their first home defeat in 34 games. And what does that do? Well, obviously, it leaves their European hopes hanging by a thread. Klopp, post-match. We played a bad game. We deserve to lose. And we must feel that now. But... Um, the boys have expected this night to to feel bad about it, and then we have to to build up again for the for the Crystal Palace game. Eh? So that's how it is, and nobody thinks in the moment. I mean, you ask me probably about the game next Thursday, but there's Crystal Palace in, in between. So, um, congratulations, Atalanta, really well done. I mean, it, quite clearly, Martin, he was almost stuck for words himself. The first game of six in 16 days and they lose 3-0 at home. Is is this the worst possible time, Martin, to run out of gas? It, well, it's not a good time, is it? And I, it was interesting when, because I think Klopp sums it up brilliantly, and he said, uh, he said after the game that we were everywhere and nowhere. <clears throat> and what he means by that is people are just running around crazily. And I think it's one of those where you have to play not with your hearts, you play with your heads. And I think the emotion is maybe coming <clears throat> a bit too big for some of the players. And they just need to take a step back, Jim. He wants them to hurt. He wants them to feel that hurt. But when you see players, you know, shooting from distance, crazy situations, not being patient, uh, and all the crowd as well, they're all involved, aren't they? Everybody wants this perfect finish for Klopp. You know, being an amazing manager. And I think it's almost like it's sort of reaching out and grabbing them around the throat. And they're not really fulfilling their dream that they want. But I think Klopp can, can kind of make it better again because he sees it, he sees it like, like the moon and what they need to do. Um, and they just need to win at home against Palace at the weekend and then everything starts to, to look much better in their, in their world. But I think maybe it does look like the um, Europa League's gone. 3-0 down. We've seen them come back before though, Jim. Um, I just think this one now is just a little bit too far. Maybe it's outside of their grasp, but it might help them to become Premier League champions. I like their running more than any other team, but mm. they've got to wake up now. You're wanting in this, go on. Well, I'm not sure that's right. I'm not sure that the emotion is overtaking people. I think that's an, an outside noise rather than an inside noise. I also I think it's ironic given I think that Arsenal's performance on Wednesday was fraught with emotion and freneticism that ultimately cost them the opportunity to beat what is not a particularly great Bayern Munich side. So emotion is part of football. It's how you channel it. I don't think Liverpool overloaded with emotion because it's Klopp last season. I just so think are you saying back. then that Liverpool have bottled it then? No, I think they've had a bad performance. So you'd say that about Arsenal, though, wouldn't you? What, but Liverpool haven't bottled You're happy it. to say that about Liverpool Arsenal Liverpool haven't bottled anything yet, have they? Because ultimately, they're still in the competitions that they're in. Um, you know, playing Man United on a game like they played on the weekend is a fixture that can produce results. Like, we'll see when Tottenham play Arsenal on the 28th, which I'm going to, we'll see how Arsenal cope with that because it's got all the ingredients of a very difficult game. Well, Man game. City have lost there and Liverpool have in lost In the same way that season. Liverpool... Or, or you know, I don't think Liverpool have bottled anything right now. Arsenal 
clearly bottled it last season because they were on top of the league. They might not have expected to have been there, and we understand all of that. But the but the, the manner in which they lost the league was by losing games and drawing games on a run of fixtures when the business end of the season came on top to teams that they should never have lost and dropped points to. Now we go to Liverpool. They've not been. I don't think they've been playing particularly well recently, and I think they've got through a few games for a variety of reasons. I don't think uh, Salah's been fit. I think people that are fasting all day as a result of the religion coming on a pitch are always going to be slightly tired so I think those sort of things play into the reasons why Salah may not have been as effective as he's been before but I, I, I look at Liverpool yesterday and I think none of us saw that result coming none of us thought that Atalanta would go there and maybe that's because there's an arrogance about the English Premier League or maybe it's because Atalanta haven't been in good nick recently but Liverpool had one bad game we'll see if they bounce back from it so it's not a case of bottling. It's not about what aboutery. Arsenal bottled it last year. They're not bottling it this year. They're my favourites to win the league. But I do think when we're talking about emotion, the emotion that Arsenal showed was the emotional immaturity in the manner in which they handled the game against Bayern Munich because they were all over it because the atmosphere inside the stadium was absolutely affecting the players because it was like a frenetic, mad 20 minutes where they let Bayern Munich back in the game when they had control of it. Yeah, there was a mistake made, wasn't there? <clears throat> the goalkeeper's miles out of his goal. Yeah. Gabriel then can't pass back to him. So I, I don't see it that way that people bottle it. I don't think Liverpool are bottling it. I don't necessarily like that terminology. I think it's too easy. I think it's lazy journalism, to be honest with you. I think that Liverpool are just going through a process. It's a new group. It's a brand new group of players, really. Look, Salah's done... Salah, Salah should has not done, lose Salah has done to Ramadan. Atalanta. Let's Salah be has done Ramadan it. every year for many years, so let's not... Uh, should Liverpool lose 3-0 at home to Atalanta at any time? No, but the, the, what I'm trying to say to you is... In Sixth their, in, in Syria. Their, in their, they're losing, points they're losing the games trying to win them, aren't they? There's no balance. The basics have gone out the window. There's, that's an emotional reaction to what's all around them. It's a Look at the atmosphere and the emotion that is filled at Anfield. That's what that ground is about. When you manage that, changed. when you Liverpool. manage that and capture that, who suffered most in COVID? Who, who lost the most games at but, Anfield? But that's a lazy journalism. They rely heavily on their and, on and their they players, the COVID, and they, so on their about. fans. All right, they won the league during COVID. Um, so um, it's it's lazy did journalism. They? Hold on, did they? Yeah, well, of course they yeah, did. They, they, they did. presented you the, the first during, year, the second year they didn't. Well, they? But COVID, COVID. They, they during COVID they won the league. The following season they had a drop off. Yeah. For, for a variety Massive of reasons. Massive drop off. One of the worst defenses of a Premier League that you can possibly see. No, no disagreement there. But when you're talking about the Liverpool, haven't changed the way they play. Liverpool aren't changing because Klopp is leaving. They're maintaining the same same way that they've played since the get go. This top t this Klopp team is a feral team. It plays on the front foot. It doesn't know how to do anything else. And every now and again, it's going to have a result like this. Very few and far between. And the scale of this result um, is something that we're all reacting to. But it's no different to what Arsenal did against Bayern Munich on Tuesday, except Arsenal got, got a draw out of the game. But they handled it in an emotional fashion. Teams can be emotional. And it's part of the game, isn't it? Yeah, Surely. When you play Manchester United, what is the most emotional game for a Liverpool player? Manchester United. Yeah. And they went out the FA Cup to them. In like incredible circumstances, and That's they've true. allowed Manchester United to take a big dent out of their Premier League. What do you which think is about what the door Jimmy Carragher is saying, Martin? That put all your eggs in the in the Premier League basket. Go for it. No, that's the, not the way. The second that's, leg's gone in well, the Europa you, League. You, you, it, being a professional, an ex-professional, you should know it doesn't work that way. You, there's a pride. There's that. There, you know. There's a playing wearing that badge as a Liverpool player. You go out there. You need to put something back for that club in the in the away game, and yeah. they'll be doing that, no doubt. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, various Villa fans saying, hang on, did we not win? Yeah, we'll get to you, Aston Villa. But right now, uh, with, with absolutely no apology offered, we are talking about Liverpool. How did it happen? They lose 3 0 at home to Atlanta. It's not as if it was 1 0 and they go to Bergamo uh, and, and have a serious tilt at winning it 2 1. They've got to overcome a 3 0 deficit. They lost 3 0 at home to Atalanta. Judge, who's a big fan of this show, I'm delighted to speak to you, Judge. Uh, absolutely dreadful last night, guys. No excuses. Judge, a Liverpool fan. We cannot play that bad again, but we've got to go there and have a go. As unlikely as it is, but we're capable of it. Still right in the mix for the title, so we've got to go over it and go over it fast. Is it as simple as that? Liverpool fans, what is the way ahead? I mean, Jamie Carragher, and I spoke briefly to Jamie this morning, just a quick chat, and he was telling me about his tweet. I, th I think he thinks they will we'll have a go, of course, once they go to Bergamo. How can they not? But Jamie, in the heat of the moment last night, said the only consolation about getting beat so heavily is Jürgen should play a full second string in the second leg and go all out for the Premier League. Should that be the way that Liverpool look at it? Martin says, no way. 03717, double two, double three, double four, eight ten, eighty nine. Jim White and Simon Jordan.
Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.